So just, just set yourself up just wherever you feel most comfortable. You might want to do a, a body awareness meditation lying down. Um, so just, just set yourself up wherever you're the most comfortable. Get what cushions, any kind of fleeces, blankets that you need, glass of water, drink. Just so that you're as comfortable as possible and we're not kind of working with any tension that we don't need to. So whether that's lying down or sitting in a chair or sat in your meditation posture, you just get yourself sat up, set up even. Good morning, Michelle. It's great to see you all this morning and great that you all check in because uh, it really gives a kind of sense of who's here together. Morning, Jonathan and Lou. Which is what we do if we were physically together, wouldn't it? We'd all kind of know who we're practicing with and, and uh, say morning and just have a little check in. So, so that's great. So we'll just begin in just a moment. Morning, Louisa. Okay, so it's eight o'clock. So we'll make a start, so a body awareness meditation and just set up what posture you feel is uh, best for you this morning. And when you're ready, just lower your gaze or close your eyes and we'll start the practice together. So a body awareness meditation. So just listening for the bell. And then just taking a few deeper breaths, just to signal to your body and your being that you're just practicing, turning your attention inwards. Just signaling your intention to practice. And just send those deeper breaths just down into the body as far as you can. Just helps us to just begin to relax and just be present with ourselves in the moment. So just take in a breath and follow your breath down into the body just to turn your attention inwards. And just begin to connect in with yourself and just how you're feeling right now. Whether you're present and whether you've arrived right now. And then just allow your breath to just take its natural rhythm. And then feeling the contacts with the ground. And just the sensations there, you're sitting or lying. Getting a sense of the chair or the bed or your mats beneath. And just feeling grounded and getting a sense of the earth beneath. All right, sat on the earth together. And just evoking those qualities of the ground and the earth of stability and stillness and solidity. Just so we can kind of give up and trust 
and just feeling really held. And then just keep arriving in the body and having a sense of just letting go, giving up the weight in the legs to the ground, Let, letting go of any holding as much as we can. So just letting gravity just take some of the, the weight and the holding. Allowing our legs to just relax. It's often a constant practice for meditators to just keep letting go of their legs and the lower half of their body where we can have a sense of holding. So if we just begin with our, the lower part of our body and our legs, we've got big muscles in our thighs and can we just keep letting go, allowing them to just relax into the mat or the chair. Just noticing the sensations in the legs. So just focusing and turning your attention, just moving down your legs. Noticing the sensations. It might be tingling, maybe a vibrational quality. Maybe there's some tension we can let go of a little. So just moving any kind of narrative, any distractions, any thinking, just try and kind of move it to the background. And in the foreground, we're just going to work with the breath and the sensations of the body. So sweeping down the legs, move your awareness into your feet. There might be a sense of warmth, maybe tingling. Sensations maybe with contact with the floor. And just using the breath, just using the in-breath to just connect. And we can use the out-breath just to relax and let go of anything we're able to. Almost as if we're breathing out and breathing down, just letting go of any holding in the lower half of the body. And then just moving your awareness to the lower back. And just noticing what your experience is there. 
sometimes our lower back can be quite indicative to whether we feel supported. So if there's kind of tension or tenderness or aching, it can be sometimes quite metaphorical or symbolic that we perhaps don't feel quite supported in life or generally. Just notice any sensations in the lower back. If there's any numbness, then we can use the breath to just breathe into the area. Almost as if we're awaking or bringing alive the sensations. And then just as we turn and work our attention up our back, you might want to notice or make any subtle adjustments to your posture. If you notice you're leaning slightly to the left or the right, forwards or back, and just, just make any kind of subtle adjustments. Just so that we've got a, a really upright posture. It's almost like we want a really clear channel through the centre of our body for our breath. Without any obstructions or... We're just getting a real sense of balance and poise in the posture. It just allows us to then become more absorbed and more concentrated. So when it feels ready, just moving your attention just further up the back to the middle of the back. And just where we have this natural curve in the spine. And just breathing into the area on the in-breath. And just letting go and relaxing on the out breath. Just noticing what sensations are there. Right, we're just really tuning into our bodies and our experience right here, right now. And then just moving up further to the upper back and the shoulder blades. And can we just drop our shoulder blades further down the back, just slide them down, dropping the shoulders, just moving the shoulders further away from the ears, just to relax, just let go as much as we possibly can. Just breathing into that area. Just saturating that area with the breath. You can use the breath to just massage the upper back and the shoulders and the shoulder blades. And just breathe out and just let go. And just noticing the sensations. And just having a sense of breathing into the back of the body. And just moving your awareness up the back of the neck. Just imagine elongating the neck. And it might help just to tuck the chin in slightly. 
just so we've got that stretch over the back of the neck again where we can hold tension. And just sweeping your awareness up the back of the neck and over the scalp of the head. And just noticing the sensations, any tightening of the neck, any tenderness. Any tingling over the scalp, soften any tightening there. And as we get to the crown of the head, we can just imaginatively sense the crown of our head rising up to the blue sky, which again just helps us with our posture, being almost kind of pulled upright with an invisible thread. just imagining or visualizing a really open blue sky, spacious and expansive. Limitless. And can we just breathe in and evoke those qualities of just feeling very really open and spacious with ourselves. It's taking up, being aware of the space that we take up and the infinite space around. But just using the breath to almost just really inflate so that we really do take up the space that we are. We're not trying to contract or make ourselves smaller or apologize for being here. Just really breathe in and take up the space in your place on the earth. Just connecting in with the breath and just how you're feeling right now. And then moving your awareness to the face, softening the forehead, imaginatively sliding the eyebrows apart and any tension in the temples. Noticing any sensations over the cheeks. And just allowing your eyes to just rest gently in the sockets. Maybe noticing the colours or light and shades behind the eyelids, any patterns. And just softening the jaw. And just allowing the tongue to just rest softly in the palate. And just taking a breath in and down the throat. And breathing into the chest area. And just noticing the sensations in the front of the body now. And you might want to place a hand on your chest area just to connect in with how that's feeling. How you're feeling right now.
We often hold our emotions here in our chest or our heart centre. So we can just tune into both the physical sensations and just emotionally how we're feeling right now. And just be curious without making any judgments. Are you feeling quite open? Do you feel quite expansive across the chest? Quite spacious, like the blue sky. And just enjoy that. Or perhaps there's difficulty, maybe a sense of weight or contraction. So just breathe into what's there, just connect with what's there. And you don't need it to be any different to how it is. So any pleasant sensations, just breathe and enjoy and dwell. And anything that feels unpleasant or difficult, we're just going to breathe and sit alongside. And just noticing how the breath feels in the chest. Does it feel quite smooth, or quite jagged? Can we just breathe in and use the breath just to have a sense of opening the area in the chest? Noticing the changing sensations. And then when it feels ready, just taking a breath deeper. So we go into our bellies. So we're breathing in and down to our bellies just to connect with this area of the body. So you might notice, first of all, that there's a sense of holding in the belly. So we can just relax and soften the belly. Almost as if you're pushing your belly out. Nobody's looking. We just breathe out and allow our bellies just to be as full as they are. We might need to keep doing that because we might be so used to holding in that area. If we're feeling quite defended, we can hold and tense in our bellies. Or where we experience anxiety or excitement. So just tuning in to how it feels and what sensations are there. And again, if it feels quite numb, or the sensations are quite subtle and you keep losing them, just keep breathing into the area, just to really awaken. the sensations there.
and just keep breathing in to connect and breathing out and just letting go. And just having a sense of the breathing body now and the front of the body. You might be feeling more absorbed, more concentrated, more relaxed. Just checking in and tuning in to how you are. And now having moved around the body, just allow your own awareness to just take you to where your awareness naturally falls in the body. It's just keeping a sense of the breath and the breathing body and just see where your attention turns to that's asking for attention in your body and your experience right now. So it might be where you're experiencing the sensations most intently. So that might be the tingling in the hands or the feet. Maybe sensations down the legs. Maybe as you become more concentrated and absorbed, you can feel tingling or vibrational sensations in the whole of your body. So your awareness is just moving around, following the sensations, quite energetic, quite vibrational. If you tune into those sensations, you might notice that they tend to grow both in that area and around the body as we become more absorbed. You can just enjoy those pleasant sensations of a relaxed, concentrated mind and body. Just noticing how that feels with your breath and your body, just so we can bring it to mind when we're off the cushion and not meditating. How does a relaxed body and mind feel? The pleasurable sensations of the body. If you become distracted, just return to the breath as an anchor. Just drop your awareness down to where you've got sensations. And just for the last couple of minutes, we can just open our awareness, just to a broader awareness. So rather than focusing in on part of the body or just the breath, just a broader awareness, just to sit. 
So getting a sense of the whole breathing body, sat, sensations, bringing in any sounds around where you are. sense of the room, the other people practicing. A little bit like you're just moving the camera angle just a bit wider, just to take everything in. Just as we come to nearing the end of the practice. We can just drop all effort and just be. And then we'll just finish the meditation with the sounds of the bell. And when you're ready, you can just open your eyes, begin to start moving. So I hope you enjoyed the practice. Uh, I certainly enjoyed practicing with you this morning. It's great to see everybody here and so many people. Uh, so good morning to Merce. Um, great to see you having done the beginners course together. And uh, good morning to Rich and Anne and Lou. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining me. That's really great. And uh, I'll be back here at 11 for our just sitting. Uh, with our with our cuppa. Um, and the other thing I really wanted to mention uh, is that uh, you're all really welcome to uh, come on a Wednesday evening to York Buddies Group. Uh, we have what we call our Sangha night, which is for our regulars, uh, where we sit and meditate together. Uh, and then we have a, a, like a coffee or tea break together. And then uh, after which um, one of us will give a talk uh, on some aspects of the Buddha's teachings or meditation and we get a chance to just chat about it um, but you can just kind of turn it and if you don't have to say or do anything you could just listen uh, but you'll all be really more than welcome and it's on Zoom so it'd be really great to actually kind of see you um, and, and, and yeah so just come along so if you go on York Buddhist Group uh, website the the zoom link for Wednesday evening which is seven until nine will be there so if, if that fits in to kind of your life at, uh, and it's something you're interested in then do come along it'd be great to see you on zoom uh, you don't have to do anything you can you can just we'll just meditate together as we do here and you can just sit and listen uh, but it'd be really great to see you and just get a sense of you as well as kind of being here together um, on a morning meditating so just to say you're more than welcome uh, but thank you again, it's really great to practice with you uh, and I hope to see you at 11 and, uh, and if not just uh, yeah, have a really great day uh, and just go gentle with what, what's, what's happening there. Okay, take care, lots of love.